Today we're gonna to be talking about four essential things that I think everyone should be adding to their home gym setup if they don't already have them. Most of us, we probably already know that we should have a squat rack, the barbells, the dumbbells, maybe even a treadmill. Many people don't focus on little accessory things that I think could potentially add a lot of value to their lives. Today I'm gonna to be running through those four things that add a tremendous amount of value to my home gym and my everyday life. And we're gonna start off with my favorite, some gymnastic rings. I think most people only view these as something that would add strength and stability to the workouts. When you're thinking about exercising and when you go into your home gym, what is the first thing that you should be doing? Stretching and warming up. You might just be the type of person that likes to immediately get after it. As you age, that's gonna catch up with you and that's what I've found. So I try to find interesting ways to stretch because if I don't keep it interesting, I find myself skipping the stretch, going right into the workout and potentially injuring myself. So with the rings, what I look to do most of the time is when I first come into the gym is really just get my arms warmed up, my legs warmed up, get the body moving. The cool thing with the swings is you can swing back and forth. So you can find multiple pivot points within your body, get the glutes going, do some mock pull-ups, lift the legs up, get the core going. To me, this is way more interesting than doing static stretching. The other cool thing about rings is the fact that if I were to press this clip, I don't really wanna take this out right now because it makes it a little bit messy, but if I press this clip and pull them down, I could then put my feet in the rings and what that would look like is imagine my feet in the rings right now, I can go back and forth, stretch out my hamstrings, stretch out my core, I can keep one foot in, I could go touch my toes, a variety of different things that I could use the rings for to really get my body warmed up before I use something like the squat rack or do my bench press or anything else that I'm planning to do that day. Number two on this list is harder will squat wedges. You can build your own wedge with some wood or you can find another brand out there, but I like this brand because it allows me to have different variations of heights with the wedge and you might be asking, why do I need a wedge in my home gym? So most people, like myself, probably are lacking flexibility in their Achilles, calves, hamstrings. What these are gonna help with is elevating that heel. So when you do squat down, you're really gonna engage your glute, you're gonna get your knee over your toe, and you're gonna drive through your legs. So if I were to put these right underneath the squat rack. I'm gonna have an elevated heel and I'm really gonna be focused on engaging my buttocks, staying on those heels. You've probably seen some people in the gym using different plates or things to elevate their heels to have the same effect. What I found is that that doesn't always give me a sturdy foundation and that using these makes it really easy to squat as well as do something like lunch. So I could have a kettlebell, a dumbbell, keeping my front foot a little bit elevated, my heel elevated, really getting into my glute, hamstring, quad, making sure that I'm remaining safe and reducing my risk of injury. The number three essential accessory that everybody should have in their home gym is some type of med ball, slam ball variation. This is another thing that you can use as a warm up tool, but also it will kick your ass in a workout. When I'm warming up, if I don't really know what I wanna do that day in the gym, and I would just wanna get moving, get that momentum going, I'm gonna pick up one of these bad boys. Shout out to Mike Tabala from Sphere for hooking me up with this 20 pound bad boy. I'm gonna take this ball, slam it down, left, right. I can squat with it. I can throw it in the hair hitting my garage. There's a lot you can just do with this little thing. There's another one from Prince Fork. This one's a little bit bigger. This one I typically practice my wall balls with. So for high rocks, you'd be surprised how great of a workout it is just throwing this thing up in the air and squatting down. A little bit different variations of the two, but something that I recommend everybody have in their home gym. Number four on my list of essential accessories that you should have in your gym is a variety of weight vests. 
In my case, I have two weight vests from Hyperwear, more of a tactical one, and then I have one that you can load up with extra weight. It currently has 20 pounds in it, but I can go upwards of 40 pounds. And this is really great for pull-ups, bodyweight squats, some push-ups, walking on incline. But if you wanted to go a little bit faster, have a little bit more function, you definitely want a more tactical weight vest. I could do some burpees with this, sprint, run. This is very good for adding a little bit of extra weight. It's about 12 pounds. So if you're somebody that's just looking to add a little bit extra to your workouts and compound that strength over time, weight vests are great. And you don't just need to be somebody that's already in shape to have weight vests. I highly recommend these to people like, honestly, my mom, who could put one of these on, walk on a treadmill, and over time, you're gonna get a lot of benefit from that as you're trying to chase your 10,000 steps for the day. Now I mentioned these are both from Hyperwear, but you can just go on amazon.com or Google and find the type of weight vest that is best for you. Personally, I like the weight vests that allow you to put more weight in or take less weight out over ones that have static weight in them only because it's more versatile. But if you're somebody that is trail running and wants to add a little bit of weight or you know exactly the type of movements that you wanna do with your weight vest and you need something a little bit more tactical, I highly recommend this weight vest from Hyperwear. Thank you for watching the four essential accessories that I believe that everybody should have in their own gym. Now I'm very aware that these are four accessories that I believe should be in everybody's gym, but you might think a little bit differently. So if you have something that you think I should be adding to my home gym, please reach out. I'd love to connect with you.